What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to some EMS1 and today what I thought we'd do is take this little puppy out. Now this is based on like a 1988 F1 car. Now this thing's got 1300 per horsepower, 1307 actually. This thing only weighs 620 kilos. Now a lot of you might not know this but Niels Husenfeld had a lot to do with the AM with the physics on this car where he had a lot to do with a lot of the cars on the MS1 now I do know he definitely did work on this car and what a blast of a car this is it's got a 1.5 litre V6 turbo now huge turbo power now we're going to take it to 1988 Hockenheim now I haven't done any practice anything so <laughs> we're just going to get straight into it so I wonder how many restarts this is going to take but <laughs> what an absolute blast this is going to be right then so put your sim belts on Let's get over to Germany. Right guys, let's see what this thing's all about. Right, I'll actually I'm on the seat back a little bit. The revs are up, the lights are up, flick it in the first gear and away we go. 1300 horsepower, I haven't done any practice. Look at this more no boost power, we've got whacked from behind. That's a problem with the MS1, they're very aggressive from the start, but whoa, whoa, when it, they're way too hot, but this feels very different. I've just come from a single course. <laughs> This feels mad. Wow, great feeling though. I've gone the full sweep back straight away. Getting a slip stream in the fifth gear. There's 180 miles an hour. It's gonna just pop out in the six. It has got six gears. Alright then. We're gonna have to break nice and early. Break that throttle down four gears. Let's try first actually. Oh, a little bit of contact there actually. Keep right off, got the spot on as well. Doesn't matter, it short shift into second, wait for the boost, wait for it, wait for it, there it is. And all that 1300 horsepower in the fourth. I don't think it'll be 1300 horsepower, I think that might be just in like qualifying trim. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel slow. Oh, right, the hold on the brakes. Just yeet it through here. Oh, lovely. Right then, off the boost, so you can really tell when it's off the boost. A little bit of stuttering as well, like that tends to be a problem on the MS1. I, I just can't get rid of that. I don't know why it does it, but oh, what a great connection I've got to this car already, though. I haven't even done a lap yet, man. Oh, blip my throttle. Wow. <laughs> wow. This feels absolutely nuts. <laughs> in the third. Wow, this is going to be a vent and a half, in it? Ten laps we're going to go yet. <laughs> Bloody hell, spells. I can hold on the brakes into the stadium section. Go on the second gear. I've got the eye on 100%. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep up. I flip it down the second. Let the car roll in. Let right, the feel the power in. Lovely feeling in the force feedback though. That real feel really does feel real. <laughs> right, the roll. Maybe we've rotated the car there. Right there. Yeah. Move in second gear. Get the nose in. Feel it, feel it, feel it. The eye are actually pretty quick. Come here. Up through the gearbox into fourth. Fifth right on the brakes, down to third, get the car rolling. Oh, we've had a little bit of an accident, I think, there. Eh? Nice. Right then, they're revving out both 13. It's probably running at about 800 horsepower, I would have thought now. But it's still a lot of power when it only weighs 600 kilos. And we've got a nice run, nearly 200 miles an hour. When we get on the brakes, let's go nice and early. Up the inside of a few of them. What can we do with them? Open over here with three ways. Keep right, Keep right, and feel the power in. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Now we're flat eventually. In the third. Oh wow, what a great event. It's all kicking off straight away, isn't it? But what a great car though. What a brilliant car actually. It just feels right, you know, it's very believable. It just hit it in the air watch. <laughs> oh, someone's made a mistake. Right, and feel it, feel it, feel it. Now we're flat. Flick it through that gearbox. In the fourth. This will use an H pattern gearbox, but I'm just using the panels here. I, I don't think I could keep up and use an H pattern gearbox, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Put the throttle down three gears, try to get in third. Right, oh, them curves are very dangerous. Oh, nice stuff, great stuff. In the fourth. A nice run here, though, in that slipstream. Right then, come on, get on the up past the rear breakers. Come on, not left side. All clear. I don't feel like we can do it with AI on the MS1, like, it really can be some of the best AI out there, really, sometimes, but it just can be a little bit aggressive at times, like, they're very hard to race, 
like to have like a fair race with. Like, I feel EMS2 does that a lot better, like you can have like much better close like wheel to wheel action on the second one than you can on this one, but this is great at the same time you know, like the graphics look a little bit dated in the cockpits, but that doesn't bother me one bit. I would rather have good good physics than good graphics any day of the week. Anyway, I'm starting to get a nice little feel for the car now. I think I am anyway. I don't want to speak too early. Right, move the seat back a tiny bit into sixth position. Just so I can see them mirrors a little bit better. Right, then we're going to go hard on the brakes, but he's coming back up the inside of it. Right, get on the brake. That's very late on the brakes, but he's still there, look. Oh, going to have to let him go. Right, great, great little move actually from the eye that. I love to see that. But if you look at the cars as well, they've got like tiny little rings on them. They've got like a lower downforce setup on the cars. Nice. Right, then 180 miles an hour. Into six. Right, get on the brakes so late here. One, two, three, four. Then you just heat it in. Oh, wow. Friend, the needle there or what? Someone's got a problem. Into third. Game's stuck in like hell. Into fourth. Never mind. I don't know why, I don't know why EMS1 really stuck as the way it does it, oh no, wow, right in the on the brakes, just gonna let these sort of cells out, oh just give a place away the one as well at the same time, right on the power nicely, feel, feel it from now we're flat, in the fourth, That's, that looks like a Ferrari, that, the car head with, doesn't it, really does look like a Ferrari, that, right we're gonna break as late as we can, down into second gear, get the nose in, feed that power in, Actually, engine sound sounds really good, actually. Really nice engine sound. Right then, throw the car in. Quite a tricky section in this car, actually. Especially with a low, low downforce setup on it. You've really got to, like, thread the car through, like, very nice and delicately. Right then, through the car in. Very white car, this actually, in the third. This is that hiss when you, when you flick it through the gears, like, it, it's got lovely, like, hiss to it, hasn't it? Down a couple of cogs through the power, nice. Oh, nice. In the third. Well, that one, number four. Come on. Oh, right then. Nice. Whoa, I'm just getting a bit flustered there. In the sixth gear, in the top gear. I pressed the air, uh, pit limiter by, by accident there. Right then, let's get on these brakes. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. One, two, three, four. Down four cogs. Probably just use first gear there, actually. Like, right, just heating it through the curves. On the power, feel it, feel it, feel it. Now we're flat. Oh, not bad actually, that was a lot better than I was expecting it to be in the fourth. Guys, this is still the first attempt as well. If I, if I get through this full, full race on one attempt in this 300 horsepower beast, I'm going to be very surprised. Okay. Right then, to keep the left through there. Someone else, we've got action, we've got, oh, we've got carnage. <laughs> yeah, you're actually making quite a few mistakes, aren't I? Oh, he went back up the inside over there, though. But we've got a little bit of a run on him. I can't move to the left because he's there. Can we get him on the brakes? Down a couple of cogs. Gonna to have to give him room. Right, let's feel the power in it. Oh, got him. Somebody's made a mistake. What are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all over the place here, yeah, aren't I? There's nothing I could have done there. I had to just let him go. We're in 21st position somehow as well. We're just going bloody backwards. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, we're still having a blast. That's all that matters. Down in the second cat. Roll the car in. Let's see if we can get a few more of these, but we, we would have been a few more places ahead if we hadn't knocked up, wouldn't we? Like, that's not our fault, I don't feel anyway. Right, oh, a little kick over the steel, and we'll go back on the power there in the second. Roll the car in. Right, then, roll it in. Right, then, feed that power in nicely. Oh, nice, that was decent. Not bad, not bad. Turn one's a quite a tricky call. Good. Blip it down a couple of gears. Look, there's a new. The EI's making another mistake. I'm still all over the place. The EI on the making a lot of mistakes. I don't know if that's normal or what. Like, not that I can remember. Anyway, we're getting a nice little run on him. Up the inside him. Let's hold that line in the sixth gear. All clear. Oh, yes. He's going to come shooting back the inside. What do I feel here? What did I tell you? Down the first gear. We're going to have to give him the line. We'll feed the power in. Flat. Now we're flat. In the second gear. I knew we was going to, that's what I mean about the aggression on EMS1. They're always so aggressive for some reason. But anyway, we've got a nice one on him again. Come and get up the inside of him, he's going to leave the door open. Oh, we've got a wrong line though. Down to second, heating the curbs. Oh, on the power nicely there though. 
in the third. Great stuff. In the fourth. Nice. Got that slip stream again. We're going to get the inside line. Let's get the inside line. Right then, but he's going to be a lot braver on the brakes, I feel. Right then, on the brakes. I don't know, like, I don't know, I'm leaving it to say, wow, <laughs> wow, what a nutter, in the third, oh, nuts you say, we'll get you at some point though, right then, leave that door open, again, we've got the inside line, oh, this is nervous stuff, they call on the brakes, and just throw the coin, hopefully we've got the line, oh yes, I think we've got it there though, oh, left, no, he's on the left, he's on the left, I think, we're going to have to leave, leave room for him on the, Oh, that was because I and that was because I was thinking he was on the left. Oh, never. But anyway, let, we're gonna roll on with it. What a way from last. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I am trying my hardest. Yeah, this is not easy at all. Let me feel the power in. Come on, let's get these these ahead. We've just been whacked from behind again. This is all because the AI is so lucky. Why we're doing so so bad? I feel, but I haven't got full confidence in the court or what. But I have like another cause, maybe that's got a lot to do with it as well. Anyway, in the fifth, after this lap, guys, we'll have a couple of quiet ones and see if we can get our head down. Right then, we're gonna break as late as we can. So let's try the 100 meter board, do you reckon? Right now. Not bad, it worked. Right then, free the car in. Oh, I love the sound of this engine, though. I really do. It sounds brilliant. Right then, rev it out into fifth. Let's see if we can get these lot ahead of it. I'll be happy with that. I love this bit though, this is my favourite bit of the track. You just hit it in there, look, you can just totally just throw it into there. <laughs> you can actually be quite aggressive on the curbs. A lot more aggressive than what, what you think. Right then, into fifth. And into sixth. Right then, great problems just before the 100 meter board, I'd say here. Down to second. Right, feet of power in nicely there. Oh, we're catching them though, aren't we? We are catching them. In the fourth. We're catching the fake for all the anyway. Right then, get ready to break. Getting it out. Oh, that was very risky there. Oh, wow. I don't know how the hell onto that one there. Down, down to first gear, then short chip back in the second. Right then, just use all the torque of the motor. We've got to watch code because it's quite spiky when it comes back on the turbo. Right then, lift off in second, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Now I'm flat. Right then, guys, let's have a couple of quiet ones and listen to this very sick beast. Be nerd.
still there. Keep right. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. All clear. Clear. Right side. On your right. Keep left. Keep left. All clear. on to the final lap we'll go yeah, just we'll right. do an extra quiet one there because the felt it was going pretty well but anyway in the third and then you know, we've got a nice little battle going on with these I feel like we're actually similar speed to these in, in the fifth but the AI are all making a lot of mistakes though aren't they? Oh, right. I think oh, we've got a free wide there's no way to go we'll have to back out a bit we can get ready to get hold on the brakes we can hold on the brakes put the down four gears in the second there's just no space for it to get anyway is there? I feed that power in nicely. Oh, I've dropped off the boost though. There's no boost. <laughs> right, in the third, never. I'm really running out the fuel as well. I, I hope I've put enough in. I'm not too sure whether we've put enough to get to get to the end of this race. It's only half a lap, so we should be okay. Down to second heat of fuel. Feed the power in nicely. Not bad. In the third. And in the fourth. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know we're right at the back, but that doesn't matter. You know, we're still having a blast. It's all that matters. See, once the AI actually gets spread out a bit, they're actually pretty decent, aren't they? It's just that first, first lap, like, they're just a bit idiotic. Oh, we've got a nice one there, though. Lovely run in the fourth. We've got a wrong line, though, for the next turn, though. Oh, real, real action. Let's get ready to get all on the brakes. All on the brakes, please. He's going to shoot back at the end cycle. There's just no way to go. We feel it, feel it, feel it. Third, right in the second, a bit of a yeast, put it down to first. Oh, yes, having a little bit of oversteer, right? Just leave it in second, then really lean on the car through there. 
what a great car this is though, on a sky, what a absolute brilliant, brilliant car this is, absolutely brilliant. Right, and let's quickly check out a little bit of this replay. Guys, we will keep this short and sweet because for some reason I can never get the replays to start, but wow, what an absolute brilliant car that is. Just a hoop to drive, you know, like, what I like about this car is I seen one of Neil's Hussenfield felt, I can't say his name properly, one of his videos anyway, and he was on about this car and he was saying, why it's not realistic if the car's too hard to drive. And I think he's so right on that. Now, this car is not hot, like too hard to drive. It just feels right. It's not easy to drive by any means, but it just feels very believable. You know, you can really, it actually got quite a bit of downforce. You can really lean through that stadium section. I was really starting to lean on the downforce. But what was mad is this, like I was getting faster and faster every lap. But like, maybe I should have done a practice race like that before I put the camera on. And maybe we could have finished 10th or something like that, maybe. But I just thought we'd just do it this way, the way we've just done it anyway. And it's turned out a pretty decent video, I think. I feel we well, had a blast making it, you know. <laughs> what a hoot it was. Now, what a, just what a great car that is. Yeah, guys, we're just going to keep this short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching. Going to love yous and leave yous. Peace from the Northeast. Doodles.